Today I went to a toy show to see what Funko Pops I could find. It was Kuya's Collectibles and I ended up getting some pretty great stuff. Check it out. Like take a look at this place everybody. There are so many booths. It's going to be fun to go through these. And now as soon as we walk in, check this out everybody. So many different Disney characters and some of the ones from the original sets too. We've got Mr. Incredible, Merida, Mary Poppins, as well as Elastigirl and Jack Skellington. Oh and I can't forget over here guys, Stitch. What a cool set to see and just like a bunch of random older Disney characters and then moving over here, look at the amount of Toy Story they've got too. I want to show you guys this section too because of the amount of like Hanna-Barbera and ad icon characters. Actually, this is like a little section that I really enjoy here because there's also like Jim Henson and stuff. But then going above that, everybody, we also have a bunch of the ones from the Pop Around the World set. And I just did a video on these guys a little while ago. It's cool to see all of them together. Or well, most of them anyway. Came to another booth over here, guys. So check out the amount of Bob's Burgers they have. The thing is they're selling them by set and all I need is the Butt Loose Tina and Beef Squatch. So I don't know if I'm going to be getting them, but hey, it's really cool to see. Oh, and right above that, check it out, everybody. We've got a lot of the Futurama ones. They're also selling these in a set. And the only ones that I need here would be Leela and Robot Devil, as well as these two over here. It's not enough for me to get them, but I do love seeing them. Now, on this table, there's some interesting stuff. We've got Angry Groot, which is honestly a really cool character with that mouth. And then above that, check it out, we've got the Strawberry Shortcake and who was that Huckleberry Pie 2 pack. And then above that, look at these older characters too, like Robocop, as well as the original Spock, and Sheldon Cooper, the first Funko Pop I ever got. Now, everybody, I gotta show you this one here, the Luffy and Foxy. It's the Chase, actually the first time I have ever seen it. Look at this here. And if you guys don't know what the Chase is, it's where they have all like the cuts and scrapes on their face. And I love how it looks animated too. And I better put this down carefully, guys. But also taking a look at the booth here, we've got a lot of cool video game ones like Five Nights at Freddy's, a bunch of Overwatch. Oh, and not a video game one, but Evil Knievel's one you don't see too often. Oh, and now hold on everybody. This is one that I've actually been on the hunt for for a little bit now. It is that new emerald colored Poe. It's the Chase version and I'll debate on this one. I'm gonna leave it for now, but I'm thinking about you. Now here's a spot that I did not expect to find a pop. I was just looking through these like McDonald's toys and smaller things and I bumped into this here, everybody. Check it out. It's an ice bat. I gotta get them. Okay, I came across another booth with Funko Pops. Actually, funny enough, this one here is Studio 151, a store that I've been to before, but if you guys wanna check it out, they have the only a Pokemon Center, Bulbasaur and Pichu. The only one that I'm missing though is Charmander. I bumped into a pretty cool selection of sodas over here. We've got the Freddy Funko as Thor Me. Gal, Alice, Kaboom, Cereal, Freddy is Big Boy, Batman Beyond, and the one that I'm debating on here is the Freddy Funko as Batman Beyond. I mean, come on, that is a pretty cool one. And I have a few other Batman, so I think that could be fun. And speaking of Heavy Metal Halloween, guys, check out these more expensive ones up here where they actually have the Diamond Freddy Bones and Freddy Funko as the monster, limited to 500 pieces. Actually, both of them are 500 pieces each. Now, here's a set I don't see complete very often. It is the Midnight Suns one with Ghost Rider, which you could get over at San Diego Comic-Con, but that Iron Man, you had to pre-order the game to get. And you couldn't even just pre-order the normal version. I believe it had to be like legendary or something like that. And there is a possible chase, but they don't have it. And if they had that one, maybe I'd go for it. But for now, we're skipping it. But still though, I gotta say, really cool to see. Okay, everybody, I think I found the largest table of pops here. I've gotta show you this. And funny enough, it's actually Top Shelf Collectibles, which we saw over at Niagara Falls Comic Con not too long ago. But the table just keeps going. Oh, and check this out. It's actually the first time I've ever seen the Smurfette Chase where she's got a red dress instead of white. Okay, everybody, I've been to pretty much every single pop booth but before we leave, I remembered the post. So I came back, I gotta get him. You see what I mean, everybody? Not too shabby. And now let's get into what I actually picked up. And I think the first thing that I wanna start with here is that out of box pop. Because, take a look everybody, I cleaned it off. It looks practically brand new. If you're wondering how I did it, I've got it over here. A Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. It really does do magic. Also, not a sponsor, but you guys can see this corner here was brand new and it took all of this off of the character. It seems like, from what I could tell, that maybe like a kid had played with this when they were younger or just, you know, maybe even a little while ago. I don't know. When I was talking to the guy, though, he said that he just bought a giant bin of random items. And this just happened to be inside. And I dug around for some more pops. It was all they had. But funny enough, he was doing two items for five bucks. And I thought five dollars was cheap already. And so I grabbed a second thing. I got this here. <laughs> it's pretty good. I thought this was pretty cool. Then I did a little bit of digging after to see what this was from. And it's actually the Burger King 
fishing toy for when the movie released. And so it's a pretty cool thing to add to the collection. He's also fishing. I mean, you can't beat that. Also, while I was doing some digging online to see how much this one was worth, I checked it because I only paid like really $2.50 for this one, but we'll say $5, of course, because of the Ned Flanders. This one here in box goes for $45, and I saw that there was also a glow-in-the-dark version, so I checked just to make sure. Yeah, it, uh, it, uh, it doesn't glow, guys. I, I was excited about it, but, uh, yeah, it doesn't glow. If I had the glow, it would go for, like, around, I think, $500, something crazy like that, so I didn't expect it to glow, but come on, that would have been cool. Okay, now, everybody, let's get into the soda that I picked up. It was actually the Freddy Funko as Batman Beyond. I got it for 65 The reason I got it is because I have a lot of the other Batman Freddy Funkos, but I do not have this one, so I thought it was perfect to add to the collection. It released as part of the Heavy Metal Halloween box, and it says it's 3000 pieces, which is pretty limited for a soda. And so, let's crack this thing open and find out exactly what it looks like. And I'm trying to think of the other Batman ones that I have. I have the Rainbow Batman, the Blue Suit, and the Black Suit, I think? But this was just never one that I was able to get. So, let's see what he looks like. And also, if you're wondering, with all of the Freddy Funko ones, or for most of them anyways, it's him in the exact same pose. And if I were to guess, this one's probably the same. He's like this. You'll see in a second. And anyways, let me open this thing up, and... Yeah, it's the same pose. But I gotta say though, it is looking amazing. Check that out. I like the mask as well as the Batman Beyond bat-like symbol in the middle. I mean, this whole thing really is nice. And just for fun, let's check out the Pog, because with these ones here, there aren't any chases, so the number is going to be exactly 3,000, and yeah, there it is. Now, next up, I've got a Funko Pop that I did not talk about while I was there. It might have been in a clip, but I didn't, like, specifically mention it. And the reason is, I noticed it after I had finished filming a clip, and I was like, you know what, we'll save it till the end and keep it as a surprise. So, I got this one here, guys. The Saturday Night Live, um, Dinkle in a Box? And now, I know what some of you guys are thinking. Tristan, don't you already have this one in the collection? Well, I used to have it, then for some reason I sold it. I don't know why. It was probably because I liked the figure, but I didn't really have a spot for it. But now I have a video that I want to do with this one, R-rated Funko Pops 2, and it should be coming soon. I had actually ordered this one a little while ago on Whatnot, but the person had canceled it, and I'm guessing maybe they had accidentally sold it somewhere else, and the listing was still up. I don't fault them for it. It's just too bad that I wasn't able to get it then, but the cool thing is they had it for 60, and they said they were open offers. I said, would you take 50? And they said, sure. And if I'm going to be honest, it's a little bit cheaper than what I saw it for online. So I really am excited about this one. And I believe this here would be Justin Timberlake and Andy Sandberg. It definitely looks like them. And so anyways, I thought this was a really cool one to bring back to the collection because there has been some times, like with this one here, where I'm like, ah, maybe I shouldn't have got rid of it. So it's cool that I could add it again. And so anyways, when it comes to characters like this, where I used to have them and then I sold them and I'm like, maybe I shouldn't have got rid of it. This was definitely a cool one to re-add to the collection. And then everybody the last thing that I picked up was this one here, and I realized after that this is definitely made of jade, not emerald, but still an amazing character to add to the collection, and it came inside of a protector, so you can't complain, and I also paid 50 for this one, the exact same as the, the dinkle in the box. You know what I'm talking about, and anyways, this is a really great one because my Hot Topic had got them in, but I wasn't able to go that day, so they sold out of the chases. The reason I say Hot Topic is because it's the only place I've seen get this one in so far, and I want to add it to the collection right away and I think it was definitely worth the 50 bucks. I love how this thing looks. Especially because ones over at Hot Topic now are, is the sticker on the bottom, it is $20 for a regular one. I mean, wonder if they're are they upcharging for the ones with the chases? I don't know, I'd have to check. But either way, it is still a really cool character, and I do want to take this one out of the box because I have a feeling it's gonna be kind of translucent, and I want to check that out. I'm also really enjoying how they were able to add so much detail with it only being one color. Like, if you take a look on the back there, you can see there is his tail sticking out, and you can see, like, all of the little claws and everything on his hands. It's really well done. Oh, and also, when it comes to this Poe figure here, the normal one I thought looked kind of funny. If you guys take a look on the side here, it is him with like this weird kind of mouth and he's doing I believe is it called a dragon kick? I think so. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but I, I it came to mind for some reason. And well, anyways, everybody, that is pretty much gonna do it for today because that's all that I picked up. And I hope you guys did enjoy this hunt because we got to see some pretty interesting characters. Like all those Disney ones or that older section that had like Robocop and Sheldon Cooper. You don't see them a lot. So I hope you guys had a lot of fun hunting with me, and I guess I'll see you tomorrow.